let's get started with some Slay the Spire. I can talk about things as I go along. So what did we... We did... We played Beaked the last time, which was interesting. I like Beaked. I haven't done Mad Scientist, but you know what? I think... I think let's give the Gatherer a go. Wandering Adventure gathers alchemy materials, specialized in potion and nature power. Start of each combat, gain a lesser... a random lesser potion. This could be interesting. I, it'd be neat if we get Brewmaster. Oh. Dang, there's there's no custom sprite for this. I... Uh, Huh. Let's ignore the key for the time being. I've never played this character. This looks like a decent mystery machine. A bit squiggly. Uh, let's see. Will we go this way or this way? Probably that way. We'll see when we get here if I'm if I'm not feeling the character. Otherwise, we can swerve and go left instead, which is a decent mystery machine, uh, but less reward. And an extreme long shot. Do we go... Nah, let's go max HP. That helps more on future, future levels anyway. Okay, so what do we got? Centralize. Fetch two cards from your draw pile. Once. Upgrade two random cards in hand. Fetch cards get the priority. Interesting. Flower Whip. Deal two damage two times can be upgraded three times. And then strike and defend. Let's try... Let's maybe... Yeah, let's do centralize. Let's fetch two defends so that I'm durable here. Well, that'll be interesting. This seems like a fun character. Oh, and there's the lesser potion. Apply to vulnerable. Let's just tank up. So, the sack. Your sack can hold three lesser potions, which are only available during this combat. Poor Ornithopter is not activated during these. Drag and... Oh. Let pop up. That's interesting. I'm kind of curious about how that... What that means. The modding scene for this game is awesome. There's 2B Automata mod. Yeah, I'm... I'm really impressed with how they've, uh... I, I'm really impressed with how much mod support this game has... Has received. And how much more it probably will, especially now that they have Steam, uh... Like Steam Workshop support, I, I, <laughs> I will admit it's actually really tempting uh, for me to look into making one at some point, but I don't know if I have the time. I probably don't. So deal four damage, deal four damage for each debuff on the target. Apply one week. That's really good, actually. Two damage next turn, gain an energy or frenzy. Thirteen damage. Apply two vulnerable. Add two days to your discard pile. Frenzy might not be bad either. Let's go Frenzy. Dazed isn't that big of a deal. You go muddy. <laughs> the serpent looks amazing with Google, googly eyes. Oh boy. Oh man. All right. Let's uh. Let's just go gold. Let's get rid of that doubt. This worked out in a weird ways, and we've got a mimic. Okay, so it looks like quests do procedurally generate in a nice way. I can't do dang doodly here, which sucks. Centralize. Okay. Give me two defends, I, I guess. We might as well just upgrade them. Do something with ourselves. Apply weakness. Frenzy. Flower whip. Defend twice. We'll apply the weakness later. Yeah, the days can be a little annoying. I don't know if they're really worth worrying about, though. We'll see how we go. Okay, do we do... Let's apply the weakness potion at this point. And I could just wail on him. I'm not going to do that much damage, but I'll just ignore those for a bit. Okay. Mad Mimicry gets me a second Flower Whip. That kind of works. Okay, lose energy each turn. Ow. Uh, let's just burn a slime. He's not going to do anything else. Defend. Strike. And I guess we'll just wait. 
Still waiting for those dazes to go off. Okay, so Frenzy might not have been a great idea. But not that big of a deal. Uh, let's see, burn the slime. Luckily, the Mimics are not actually particularly aggressive. Okay, now he's hitting me. I guess we'll hit him with a Frenzy. We'll take one damage here. Do defend first and then strike to kill him. Okay, Dreamcatcher or Sapphire Key. I don't care about going for the heart on this one. We'll get it if I don't have better, but right now, eh. Wool Gloves, gain 8 block, once just draw 3, discard 3. Next turn, game 5 block, gain 9 block, 2 turns later, or Acidic Spray. Acidic Spray would be interesting. I'm gonna go Wool Gloves. We're just gonna go a little boring here. Kill that guy. Fire with that guy and just tank up. Yeah, Frenzy is a bit of a double-edged sword, but especially like on the first, uh, on the first level. Having, uh, having just a high damage hit seems like a good idea. Okay, so let's do Centralize, grab Frenzy, and Flower Whip. 16 damage. Sounds good. Oh, we had a potion for that. Probably should have looked at that. Gain 12 block. When up obtained, upgrade all of your flower cards. Flower. Oh... Choose up to three cards from your discard pile. Shuffle them into your draw pile. Or odd spoils. Deal nine damage. Add one random card not in your deck to your discard pile. It costs zero. I'm gonna grab odd spoils. A flower deck sounds like it would be fascinating with this game. Centralize. Centralized upgrade's not bad. Let's grab odds up odd spoils though. I'm I'm digging. I'm digging what we got. Let's see. That's just gain eleven block, which is pretty good. I could upgrade that, but I feel like the yeah, it's probably go better. Everything has googly eyes, and I love it. Now, let, let's go for this. Ooh, gremlin gremlin knobs. Spooksy. What do we got? Draw two cards. This would be a good round for it. Not amazing. We'll just wait. And this character is... Adequately aggressive. Actually does quite a lot of damage now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, Grass Knot. At the end of your turn, discard up to one... Retain card for five block and two thorns each. Interesting. Not immediately sure if that's going to be helpful for what I'm doing, but that's okay. So what do we have in my draw? Collector shot. That's interesting. All right, let's grab this. Let's upgrade collector shot and frenzy. Should be able to just kill him. Perfect. And we get bottled lightning. Start with this skill. Well, let's see what we get first. So rotten stipe. Deal 4 damage, apply 2 potion. Poison. Each Rotten Stipe has a randomly chosen damage and debuff. That's interesting. Coup de Gras. Uh, Coup de, Coup de Gras? Coup de Gras. There we go. 10 damage. If the enemy's current HP was less than twice yours, hit twice instead. Or deal damage equal to 10% of max HP. When obtained, raise your max HP by 4. Brute Force. <laughs> Holy crap, I actually really like this character. Uh, so Coup de Gras does 10 to 20. Fruit Force seem, seems amazing. I'm going to go with Fruit Force just because. And let's start with Centralize. Because that means I can pull whatever card I want. Whenever you rest, upgrade a random card. Yes, that sounds fine. All right, let's Centralize. Get me... Bull Gloves and Odd Spoils. Alright, let's do wool gloves. Let's get rid of the get rid of the strikes. And do we do odd spoils for free cards? Sure, why not? Well, I guess I might as well give myself plated armor here. Uh, let's see, so it's 
Standard Rosebush. I think it just makes itself a little bit stronger every time. Luckily, the Rosebush takes forever. Oh, Odd Spoils is just... Its effect is perpetual. It will just continuously add cards to my deck. That's interesting. Starfruit. Deal damage equals to equal to 5 plus half of your missing HP. That's really good. Blast Hammer. Deal 8 damage. Deal 11 damage to a random enemy other than the target. Let's grab Starfruit, though, because that's dumb? Or, no, no, no. I want to just rest. That'll upgrade a random defend. And, get me a card. Upgrade bag. Shuffle a glitched into your deck. Your lesser potions are 100% more potent. Duality. Attack. Deal 18 damage. Retain. When retained, its tag switches between attack and defense. Or Scent of Rosemary. Gain 7 block. Choose 2 cards to retain. If they end up discarded, return them to your hand next turn. Interesting combo with that other card that I don't have. Um, Wow. So glitched. Well, in your hand, upgrade bag power is disabled. Oh. I like duality. Let's grab duality, because that seems like a nice holdover move. Okay. Centralize. Give me duality. And... Honestly, let's upgrade these two. 22 damage retained. Win switch, so we're gonna hold on to that one. Do we? I don't have enough energy, so let's just wait for the next turn. Yeah, so it, it just alternates between attack and block. Neat. The timing ain't great, but I want to use odd spoils though. So we're just gonna wait. Okay, so nine damage. Not great on that, so let's do. Full gloves, get rid of the really expensive moves. He's gonna hit me for 18. Let's just block and strike. We also have the lesser steroid potion. I'll use that in a turn or two or something. Examine. Look at the top three cards of your draw pile. Play one and discard the others. Interesting. Okay, let's play odd spoils. And we get some more interesting cards. Do duality, which blocks this, and we'll just hit him once. I need to use the steroid potion at some point. I'm just waiting for this turn, actually. Enchant. Choose a strike card from your hand. Costs one more. Well, that's absurd. All right, let's start with centralize. Give me strike and odd spoils. Drink the lesser steroid potion. Enchant this strike, so it does a boatload of damage. Do I use it though? Not this round. But I did want to upgrade it. So I could examine Duplicator. Gain the effects of all of your lesser potions. I don't have a whole lot of potions this round, unfortunately. So let's do examine, play duality. That tanks me up nice and good. Strike him, and I don't know, d d defends, because whatever. Okay, I should be able to just kill him. Yeah, we're good. Tiger Marble. At the start of each combat, add a random card which exhausts to your hand. Has zero until played. That's interesting. Poison Mastery. Gain a lesser poison potion. Poison damage is increased by 100%. I... It feels like I should have more potions here. Maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Transform a card from your hand. It costs zero this turn. Transmute seems really interesting. Poison Mastery seems like it'd be interesting if I had more. But let's let's go. We're just we're just doing science here. Okay. Tactical Strike. Deal seven damage. Draw two cards. Deal twelve. Exhaust can be upgraded multiple times. Or exhaust a, a card. If it's uncommon, gain block. If it's rare, gain more block. Let's grab Flower Falling. It does a decent amount of damage, gets rid of itself, a bunch of other things. Okay, so what do we got? Less damage outside of combat. Strikes and def defense can be upgraded any number of times. Or whenever we lose exactly 7 HP, gain critical. 
This triggers three times in one combat. Gain gold. Interesting. Balanced growth. At the start of your turn, gain one strength or dexterity until they're equal. Huh. Mining Strike. Deal 10 damage for every 12 on block damage. Gain one plated armor. I... Huh. None of these are quest related. Flower Shield seems neat. Balanced Growth seems awesome, but not for this. Uh, we don't have any strength gain, period. Or dex gain. If I had Shiv or... Shuriken, we'd be in an amazing spot. Ten foot pole is kind of amusing, though. You cannot be surprised or caught off guard by mimics. A rune of simplicity would just upgrade my basic not. That's not what I want to do. But upgrade my basic strikes and defends. Honestly, I'm more inclined to get rid of them. Let's grab Flower Shield and remove a strike. And then we'll just save our money for the next one. Lucky Slots would be interesting, but I, I don't know if it'll pay for itself. It's pretty cheap, though. We'll grab it. It's, it is cheap. And yeah, it's like, it's tempting to pick up the 10-foot pole, but it's like more situationally useful, I think. All right, and let's keep resting. It upgrades a random card, and we'll see. Put three random unique cards from your draw or discard pile into your hand. Choose up to three from your discard pile, shuffle them into your draw, or deal to 12 damage, flower falling. They'll get rid of themselves anyway. So re remove all of your debuffs, that's unfortunate. Let's do centralize. Why don't you give me... We can upgrade duality. And transmute. Let's transmute... Defend. Into polymorphism. Deal a number of damage equal to the number of other cards in your hand. They're all unique, gain energy, and draw a card. Ha! Huh. Well, I gotta say, I really appreciate this weird setup. Do I cleanse? We should probably hold on to the cleanse. It's not gonna hit me with anything anyway. Let's hope duality comes at the right time here. Let's do frenzy, strike, strike. No. Well, no. We'll be fine. Because I've got odd spoils. Does a nice amount of damage. Duality, which does a boatload, and then Flower Whip, which does a little bit. Perfect. This is actually one of the strongest run-ins I've had with... Okay, so let's defend. Polymorphism, this guy. Gets me a little bit more. Centralize, which lets me grab... I could do Flower Beam. I haven't taken too much damage, though. I was hoping for something a little bit more defensible. We could do wool gloves. Alternatively, let's do flower beam and fruit force. Flower beam! Because I can just kill that guy. I'll take a little bit of damage, but that that's fine. The title is Lick the Spire, yet I see no licking. It, licking me can mean, uh, beat the snot out of. Okay, coup de gras, bulldoze. 10 damage to all enemies for every four unique cards in your discard pile. Grow book, gain 10 block, exhaust. After playing three times, replace this with a defect card. Choose one from stack, steam barrier, or all for one. Seek is added to the lift list if upgraded. Let's grab bulldoze. Bulldoze seems like it could be really fun. Energy at the start of your turn, but you have less cards, lizard tail, or calling bell. 
Oof. Calling bell. Okay, so we get the Art of War, Ninjato, and the Glazed Horus. Which was worth it. Oh, now I need that now I need that power that increases my dexterity. Oh, I hope it shows back up again. Cause uh effectively, Glazed Horus every other turn, I get a strength. And if I could get it so that every other turn I get a strength and every other turn I get a dexterity, that would make me insane. It's worth it. Alright, so I want to go shopping, but... I want to stuff. This looks really... no. This looks really good. Can I make this work? Yeah, I can make this work. Let's see how this... Let's see how this does. So we have the grow book. We have flower whip. Let's flower whip this bird. Centralize. Why don't you give me... Let's do bulldoze. And do I have anything else that hits all enemies? Not really. Let's grab odd spoils then. Okay. Odd spoils to knock him down. That gets me some more cards in the discard. And... This should hit him twice. Yeah! <laughs> Bulldoze is worth it. Okay, so we have Flower Falling, Doubt, Defend, Strike. Nothing terribly exciting here. Let's start hitting this bird. I guess I'll take a little bit of damage here. I forgot I have a lesser steroid potion. And some other potions I should probably use. Oh well, it's... It's fine. It's fine. So we have duality attack. Hmm. Do wool gloves. They hit me for 20 total. I got 8. I guess let's just do... Let's just block up. I'll get a little bit more strength anyway. See, why does the hero not have googly eyes? Because this is a modded character, uh, so they don't actually count. Let's transform one of the defense into Flaming Bottle. Gets me a lesser fire potion. We'll just hit him. I guess we'll do duality defense. I could have just killed this guy. No, we did get some more quests. We... No, nothing, nothing exciting. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Well... I'm gonna just... Kill them all. That works. Okay, enchant. Choose a strike card from your hand. Deal... Uh, costs one more. Deals more. Costs nothing to use. What happens if I... Okay, so that just increases that. Put three random unique cards from your draw pile in your hand. I guess we can grab the enchant. I don't know if I'll remove it or exactly what I'll do. Oh, secret techniques. Why don't you give me... Transmute. I should have upgraded one of these. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. So why don't we grab... Grab an upgrade, duality, and flower shield. Because he's going to hit me anyway. And why don't we transmute this defend into a secondary fruit force? Sweet. Okay, flower falling, flower falling, strikes. Yeah, we gotta get rid of some of those strikes. I like to use odd, odd spoils if I can, but oh well. Yeah, we need to upgrade bulldoze when I get the chance. Why does it do 22 damage for... Oh. Wait. Why'd the damage on that go so much higher? Oh, I had a critical attack. That's what was going on there. I was really confused why I was, like, suddenly ridiculously strong for unknown reasons. I mean, also strength, but... Critical hits? 
Unplayable. Whenever you use a potion, draw one card and exhaust up to one card. Herbalism. Gain energy for each card in your hand that costs two or more. Feeling fine. Whenever you use three potions in a turn, remove all your debuffs. I'm not a big fan of either of these. Any of these. Herbalism seems kind of interesting. Scroll of Purity would clear out my deck. Let's grab it, actually. Find some potions. Milkshake. Let's grab the Power Potion, and I like the rest of these. I need to start using them. I just haven't needed to. Well, it's in the decks. Bring random attacks from your draw pile into your hand. hey -o! Odd Spoils. Centralize. Why don't you give me Flower Whip, and we could do Enchant... We could do transmute. Let's trans let's transmute a defend into energy basket. Energy, energy, any energy. I O P indeed. Brute force, and I want to do bulldoze. It's only going to do twenty damage to him, but that's acceptable. Let's see, what's up with the mini boss with the flames? It has one of the key pieces, but I'm not doing ascension mode on this run. Uh, so why don't we enchant that strike? It's not going to do me a whole lot of good here. Oh, let's discard doubt and disease. And the really expensive defend. In retrospect, the Scroll of Purity might not have been the right idea here. It doesn't really help me. It's a bit of a shame, but it's life. A Flower Shield. Duality Attack. Frenzy. And Starfruit, which should kill him. Perfect. Okay, can we get another Milkshake, which can't use. Venom Barrier. Gain 13 block whenever you're attacked this turn. 3 poison to the attacker. It's not bad. Seal Bomb, 35 damage, while in your hand, using potion decreases cost by one less combat. Interesting. We just... Oh, here we go. Snatch. Deal 7 damage, once gain a random lesser potion. Okay. And I'm just gonna go with the... Uh, I'm just gonna go with the safe bet, because it almost always screws me. Now let's rest! Which upgrades something. Feeling fine whenever you three, use three potions, remove your debuffs, eh. Pollute next turn, apply two poison, weak and vulnerable to all enemies. That's kind of good. I'm just picking whatever the heck. And so far it's working, actually. Heart to Fruit. Deal 17 damage if this kills a non-minion enemy. Raise your max HP by three. Yes. Okay, so oh, we don't have we don't have any of his fancy anything's. So why don't we just grab these two? Transmute Starfruit into a cheaper duality. Unfortunately, it can't do damage to him, so most of this is meaningless. We'll just wait. Fernal Berry. Not like he's going to hit me anyway. Oh, when I need to hit him, I'll hit him. Oh, right! We have Art of War. I keep forgetting I have that. In a random lesser potion. So we have lesser speed potions. He's not going to hurt me for much. But he is because I have no means of stopping the damage. I could just drink the block potion. Yeah, nothing I can do here. Okay. Wool gloves. There it is. Alright, let's get rid of disease, strike, and strike. Because we still have to keep burying this guy. Unfortunately. Come on, berry. Infernal berry. I wonder if you can upgrade this thing. I don't have an answer on that one. Oh, well. Wham! Upgrade that strike. Seems like not a great 
option for this run. So why don't we transmute enchant into flower shield plus one. Huh. Works. We'll just frenzy that guy. I want a heart to fruit him. I don't know if I'm going to be... Well, we have energy. Drink the energy potion. 25 damage. I should be able to kill him. Yes, give me that max HP. Convert frenzy or sealed bomb. Honestly, at this point, I'm just going to skip these. My deck's getting a little on the thick side. Hey, we get another heart to fruit. Sweet deals. So why don't we grab... They're going to hit me for 20. Let's grab wool gloves and flower shield plus one. That should be enough. All right, let's get rid of whatever the heck. None of them matter. I'm just tanking this one. See, is one of those re relics a donut? Yep, it's a, it's a small donu, actually. Let's transmute the defend into rotten sight. Sure. Eh. We'll take a little bit of damage here. Uh, but it gives me one strength every other turn. Which is absurdly good. Honestly, okay, applying weakness to that guy. That'll let me get rid of doubt. I should have gotten rid of the disease, honestly, but it happens. I'm just gonna kill that guy. He's gonna get madder. But not that much? Okay, let's start with... Well, I haven't really taken any damage. I haven't taken much damage here. That does some damage. Bulldoze, you are stupid powerful. I want another one of those. So Sherry Throw gets me an extra energy. Or Withering Strike. Is that permanent? That might be permanent. I think that's permanent. All right, uh, we get a strength upgrade. But what else do we get? Energy basket. I like energy basket. Okay, so what do we have? Strawberry is pretty good. Each turn, one card you play, the cost two or more has refund one. It's okay. Two out of four lesser potions to gain with the help of Gather's Thought. Mind Search is amazing. Well, for starters, let's get rid of disease. Because I think that's a problem. Do we grab strawberry? Probably. See, flower beam seems fun. It, it does. However, we need a better flower deck for it, unfortunately. So why don't we grab strawberry and maybe the prismatic shard? Just to see what kind of goofy nonsense that can get us into. I would have liked to get Mind Search, but this is not actually a potion deck. Also, here he is again. I regret my decisions mildly. Because Quantum Egg would have been good. We could get another cheap Frenzy. Yeah, next run you can do a flower deck. I, yeah, that would be the ideal. I actually have a number of flower cards in here, but we need certain other things. Maybe I should do a draft mode run or two of this game. Uh, let's grab Frenzy, just because it's cheap and high damage-ish. Overflowing, gain energy, energy is conserved for the next turn, heck yeah. Okay, so let's upgrade me some cards. So what do we upgrade? 
What do we use? Pollute's pretty good. Withering Strike, though. I gotta test this. It looks like it... Yeah, it's, it's just a permanent effect. That is absurdly powerful. Hot dog. So you could actually run a Strength Down run if you really felt like it. Okay, let's transmute the defend into a rotten stipe. And with flower falling, and yeah, I'm gonna take like five damage here, but I'm I'm resting left and right anyway. Let's kill him with uh, the spoils. Electrodynamics, interesting. Uncanny aura. Some of these would be pretty good. I don't know. I, I I feel like picking up the Prismatic Shard was actually the wrong choice. Let's grab Uncanny Aura, though. It's probably a dumb idea, but I wanted to see if I could have multiple. Chrysalis, obviously. Centralize. Why don't you give me... Quick Synthesis. Now, did that upgrade? No. So, I was really hoping for that. Well, we could do a Withering Strike. So I'm, not, I'm actually going to take some damage here, maybe. We could go Energy Basket. Well, let's see Mind Search. Let, let's go Poison Time here. They're not going to hurt me much anyway. I don't have any more Energy Potions. Let's drink the Strength Potion. Let's just go roid it out on these two guys. Quick Synthesis and Mind Search, which uh, let's go with the Lesser Energy Potion and Lesser Strength Potion. Okay, now do we go... Bulldoze would be better for later. But I'm gonna use it now anyway to do a bunch of damage to him. I think it mucks with his, uh... Setup? Maybe? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's get rid of Enchant. In favor of a Sealed Bomb. That works. In an interesting and kind of fun way. We'll just block. I'm, I'm going to take some damage here, invariably, but that's that's okay. Uh, it's a fun run. Uh, let's see. So, let's do Pollute. Strike. It's going to hit me for six. I guess we'll just do that. Blaze Taurus is actually one of my favorite mod, uh, mod cards I think I've seen in this game so far. Or mod cards, mod relics. It's a little strong. Oh, Heavy Jacket. At the start of each combat game, one plated armor for every two relics you have. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Let's grab backup. Choose a non-rare card from your hand. Add two copies on top of your draw pile. Exhaust. That sounds kind of fun. I don't know what that's going to do for me, but that sounds kind of fun. We can transform a card, we can dig. Dig for relics, we get light bulb. Ooh, that's nice. And we're up against the mysterious rune. Recipe change. Choose from one from all of your lesser potions. Replace all your lesser potions with it. Unfortunately, I don't have many. Lesser power potion, defends, yeah. Oh, drank up, balance growth, yes. Drank up again. Bomber form, the start of turn, gain lep. All future lesser potions become lep and raise all lep's damage by one. Lep. A lesser explosive potion. Deals six to all enemies. Interesting. Let's grab stone fence. At the start of your turn, add one thrower to your hand. 
Thrower. Ethereal. Deal damage equal to the amount of block retained. Or remained at the start of this turn. Interesting. I don't actually know if that even does anything for me. But I'd be silly not to get, get that. So why don't we grab Withering Strike and Backup. Let's do Backup on Withering Strike. Okay, and let's make it so all of our potions from here on out are lesser power potions. Because that's not going to be broken. Okay, so he's got... After you spend 12 energy, heals. It's fine. Thrower. Frenzy. Because that gets rid of that. Withering Strike. Withering Strike. Oh man, Withering Strike is a thing of beauty. Of course, we've got to wait for it, but still. Let's transmute that into a collector shot. Yes! That's some damage. Do energy basket, which was supposed to get me lesser power potions, but I guess it didn't. I don't really know. Whatever, let's just bulldoze him. And then take the rest of the damage, because it doesn't matter. Okay. We have Duality Attack. Let's hit him with Thrower. Odd Spoils. Gets me some more interesting cards. I should probably defend. Because I shouldn't waste all of that extra... I shouldn't waste all of that extra plated armor on meaningless nonsense. Okay. Hit him with Frenzy, because that's a crit. Pollute. And he's going to hit me for a bunch. So let's fire shield up. Oh. It's gonna hit me for a bit more. Colorful Garden. At the end of your turn, gain one block for each unique card played this turn. Well, that's kind of awesome, actually. Let's transmute Flower Falling into a Sherry Throw. Works for me. Probably should have actually used S Starfruit, but whatever. It's the card that gets me a crit. One of these gets me a crit when I do things, and I've... Totally forgotten. Oh! When I lose exactly 7 HP, I crit. Neat. Energy is conserved to the next turn. Because I can't do anything to him anyway. Okay, that's some cards. Oh! And that synergizes incredibly well with Light Bulb. I would love to do a spinning top light bulb and ice cream run someday, because I think that would be absurd. Alright, so 60 damage, more damage, and odd spoils. I really like the Gatherer. They're probably a little overpowered, but they have some of the most interesting cards I've seen so far. The last card played each turn is played an additional time. This power does not stack ethereal. Double an enemy's goop. Apply one poison. Each time this card is played, permanently increase this poison by one. Or check or not, whenever you gain block, deal five damage to a random enemy. I I think I'm gonna have to go with Parrot. Because Juggernaut's interesting. And Neurotox wouldn't be fun, but we're not gonna be going very far. Parrot sounds really neat, though. At the end of each turn, retain a random card to cost one less each turn. Blindfolds. Or remove five cards from your deck. Gain two curses. No. Claw Grip seems interesting. Otherwise, we can just go blind and... No, let's go Claw Grip. Because that's effectively gaining one power, but lets me do... Oh no, we're up against Super Sneko. That's different. Well, do I have any high up shops? I don't. Okay, that's butts. Yeah, hopefully one of these mystery rooms is going to be a shop, because I want to go shopping at some point. Okay, imminent threat, parrot, panic button.
I'm just gonna have to go hard on him. This isn't going great. We do have the lesser fire potion. Odd spoils. Full glove. Starfruit duality for attack. Flower falling. Let's do withering strike. Do a flower shield. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done panic button to begin with. I I don't know. That doesn't matter that much. Uh, let's see. Do we do? Let's do this. Let's get rid of Scroll of Purity, because that was a complete goof of a choice. Snatch. Let's me weaken him. Flower falling, strike. And then Bulldoze should kill him. Honestly, Bulldoze is kind of the greatest. Add three cannonballs to your hand. Zero cost attacks that deal eight? Ten damage? Huh. Sure. That sounds fun. Do we go shopping? Because I could get rid of Prismatic Shard. Eh. It's a little late for these things. A second Uncanny Aura, assuming I still have one. Enhance ability. Gain either one strength at one dex. Specialist. Who's one focus? No, we should go enhance ability. I'm not entirely sure if that was a good idea. I'm not sure if any of this is a good idea. But, eh. I mean, it's mostly working for me. Okay, overflowing. Enhance ability. I can choose, actually. Let's go dex. Reduce his strength. Centralize. Why don't you give me... We don't want Bulldoze. Bulldoze is better later. Let's do Energy Basket for a very, very specific reason. Do I have any good block moves? I really don't have as many good block moves as I was hoping for. I guess let's grab Wool Glove, just get rid of Doubt and Imminent Threat. Oh, that's neat. Okay. They're only going to hit me for 16, so I actually don't need to block again. So, because we had that, that extra energy, Light Bulb is going to dump more on me. And we can do some things. So, let's start with Cannonball Supply, because that's kind of fun. Let's do a backup? Not sure if backup is the right idea. The Starfruit's gonna do a decent chunk. How much is Bulldoze gonna do? Okay, so I gotta use at least one more. All right, let's let's just dupe a defend. I've already done defend. I can't do the rest. Okay, Bulldoze. So that'll do. Not enough. Oh wait, no, no, no. We can do we can do starfruit first. Okay. So that'll do a bunch of damage to all of them, and we've got more than enough block. Perfect. Should not use the other defend again? Nope. I was trying to uh, I was trying to get as many uh unique cards in my discard as possible. And we want to grab finisher. Bladed dash sounds interesting. One stack of poi is powerful. <laughs> okay. But yeah, Finisher sounds really, really strong with this. I I should never go Prismatic Shard. At least on these runs. Lose mad- go Madness? Sure. Okay, Master of Strategy gets me some stuff. Madness. Make Centralize free. Perfect. 
Let's do flower whip. An energy basket. Let's drink the energy. We got lesser poison. Might as well poison him. Drink up on the energy. Because we're going to need it. Frenzy him. Flower whip him. We've got a finisher. I'm going to do bulldoze. This is going to hurt. And we're going to do finisher on this guy. Okay, and I'll take one damage. Let's see, it's a mystic mechanic. Have you played her yet? Nope. I haven't had the chance. I'd like to. Cannonball! 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 Uh, defend plus. Defend again! Goodbye, parrot! Let's see, enhance ability. Why don't we go... Deck. Dex. Makes some of these things a bit easier. And let's do an odd spoils. And then just wait. Not gonna be an easy kill. That's fine. Let's do backup on duality. Evil gloves. Discard those. And then hit with the strike. Should kill it. Okay. Finisher revenge. 0 to 50 damage to all enemies based on how many percentages of HP I'm missing. Deals 20. Better replica. Gain hit block. If you have 30 or more block, reduce it by 5 and gain a lesser block potion. That seems interesting. Well, let's grab another finisher. And let's keep resting. So that upgrades something. It also gets me barrage? No. Shivs. Holy crap, shiv, shiv toss is nuts. Discard all shivs in your hand. Your shivs deal one extra damage this combat for each one discarded. I want that someday. Let's grab 66 CC though. Deals double damage if there's nothing in your discard pile. That's a good starting one. Okay, so let's start with that. Oh, I start with the uncanny auras in my discard pile. That sucks. So that was a mistake. Okay, so uplift. Each turn, one card you play costs two. Or the costume more is less. Gain two weak, frail, and vulnerable. At the start of your turn, draw two cards. Can be upgraded three times. Uh, uh. I'm not sure if that's good. Not with this. Let's see, what what can we get that's free? Flower Whip and Madness. Madness makes imminent threat free. I'll get rid of it. There's Withering Strike. Okay, let's grab Dexterity. Because this guy hurts. Let's do backup on Wool Gloves. We're lucky they're all going to be cheap too. Let's do full gloves. Yep, they're all free. Perfect. Okay, and we want to use odd spoils here. That should be a good one. Let's see. Wonder, I remember you played Kriya. I have the opportunity to pick it up and wanted an opinion on it. Free is pretty good. It's... It's not... Like, the most amazing game I've ever played. But as far as, like, uh... Terraria likes, it's pretty solid. I don't know, I had fun playing it back in... In the day. Well, this sucks. Hurts. At least we get to hold on to the scroll of purity. 
Alright, uh, let's lead with energy basket. Okay, let's exhaust the strike. Let's exhaust the defend. Let's pop a madness, which makes cannonball free to use. This should work. Okay. Now, I have to do... Flower shield. Yeah, I have to do less than a certain amount of damage, so I guess I'm just going to do finisher, because that's going to reset his turn. Owie. This guy hurts. Oh, but we could get to keep starfruit. Oh, you messed up, boy. Okay, we have duality attack, uncanny aura, enchant, full gloves. Do the no. Oh. He does more damage when you piss him off like that. Man, Nightmare just kinda sucks. 